just so you know it's no cap. Who that right there? Huh? Yeah. Yep. We out here. Week two, day one. So we gotta talk, man. Think something wrong. Yeah. It's affecting my performance. I'm wait till we get in the car. Oh yeah, we in the whip, so great workout, man. Um I felt a lot better in week two, day one. Alright, Tyler. Uh despite not doing nothing uh these last couple of days on Sunday, on Monday, Labor Day, so Think my asthma trying to come back, man. Um, I had real bad asthma from age eight to age eighteen, and um, like literally at age eighteen, it became acute. As uh, <clears throat> not it's just pretty or nothing like that, but it came um, it lessened to the point where I did not need a, a butyrol pump, which is what I uh, the medicine I had. Cast off the chain, but uh, yeah, man, uh, good workout. This cast off the chain, uh, it's a great team, man, they're very encouraging. Um, but I'm instead of a butyrol or going back, I don't know what the new medicine is now. Some of you might be like, Well, I'm not using butyrol no more, I don't know, I haven't had asthma attack in years. But I feel like my, my lungs are super restricted. It's like when I warm up, and this time I got, a, like I said, a fairly good warm up. It was like I still couldn't get enough oxygen. Now, I know I'm, I'm, I've been out of shape for quite some time, but, you know, once I start working out, once you start warming up and you start moving and you're getting it, you're, you know, you're supposed to loosen up and be able to get it. Now, granted, I'm not expecting my lungs to be on par with somebody who runs triathlon or plays, you know, uh, starting basketball, starting nothing like that. I'm not saying that, okay? So, so miss me with the BS. But I'm just saying, like, it's just like a constant struggle. It's like, dang, I, I just can't get enough oxygen. And I'm wondering, is that uh, my asthma uh, rearing its head again, ever so slightly? And so, if that's the case, I would, this time I'm gonna try to go more medicinal, go with herbs. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. You all the way. Uh, I'm gonna go with herbs this time as opposed to a butyrol or whatever's the newest uh, drug they have for asthma. I'm gonna go that route and see how that works out. Now, there's like four or five different herbs I looked up that are surrounding. I don't know if you guys can hear me now. That surround respiratory slash circulatory system that's supposed to help promote uh, good function. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try those. I'm going to try that first, man. I, I really want to stay away from medicines or medication as much as possible. Because uh, I believe all that, you know, people were curing people before they came with all these damn crazy chemicals. All right, you know, there was ways of, of improving someone's health with all these damn chemicals. <laughs> I know I'm this shit bouncing all over the goddamn place. But, you know, it's good. Uh, good exercise. Great circuit. Um, I worked out with the homie Daryl, uh, older white dude, man. Don't, hey, man, let me tell you something, man. These older cats like Gus and Daryl that work out here, uh, Daryl is white and, uh, Gus is black. But these older cats, man, don't sleep on them, man. They got, I won't say they soft spoken, but they don't have, you know, that, that, those boisterous voices where they feel like, you feel like, oh, man, he sounds intimidating. These cats are real approachable. But they, man, working out with these cats, Mustang, they will knock your ass out. <laughs> That's on the real, man. These, these older cats will put you on your ass quick. You know what I'm saying? I work out with these cats, man. These cats don't play when it comes to their workout. They be doing it for a minute, and uh, they, they damn good at what they do. So don't don't uh don't get too far with some of these older cats, man. They will put you on your ass, man. But uh, he showed me a different technique to the speed ball, which is instead of the hit one, two, hit again method, 
the triplet. Uh, it was, it's a triplet one. Hit one, two, three, hit one, two, three, hit one, two, three, hit. And that one was, it was a little bit easier for me to get a hold of uh, as opposed to the method Gus told me about. So I'm trying not to leave out too much wind noise. But. I hope you ain't trying to chase me down, but say what you want. Say what you want. Cause they ain't speeding up. They ain't, they don't want to speed up just yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm with the shit too. And it's not because I train. I ain't got time to play with nobody. I, I'm, I'm taking everything people do seriously. All these crazy ass folk, uh, mainly white dudes, killing whole families, shooting up stores, and and all that other bullshit. No, no, I'm, I'm watching you, and I, I will run your ass over. I ain't got time. Makes me with the bullshit. But back to the good stuff, man. Great workout. Learn a different technique for the speed bag, which I can acclimate to a lot faster. Um, I'm gonna get these herbs. I'm gonna use them first, then I'm gonna tell you guys about them. I don't want you to tell you about them, then you go try to use it. Man, they, these herbs don't get that nothing. I'm gonna see how they work on me. I don't like to try to get it from nobody. I don't want to suggest nothing. And then you go try it, and then you try to come after me. Oh man, you suggest these herbs like you was a now nah, miss me with the bullshit. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. But the shaking and job beat my rhyme because the shit is off time. I know I'm on. Anyway, man, uh, it feels good. I was actually looking forward to this day, even though I want to quit a thousand times, you know, warming up. My body just didn't want to get it. It's mainly the cardio. It's just breathing. It's the breathing that's getting me. And that's why I think I'm going to go and get on this herbal uh, regimen and see how that works out for me. And I'll let you guys know if that works for me or not. Uh, you got to do your own research, though. I'm not a doctor. I'm not advocating to be a doctor or anything like that. I'm just trying to get in the best shape I possibly can and bring you guys along for the journey, all right? Peace and blessings. Peace and